Hey everyone, so I'm going to do the Ancestors verse, um, which is the part right after you guys have entered and right before the dance break. So here we go. Um, so you've just done all of your entrances. So you're in your spots and this is right on once torn asunder. So basically every word um, that starts a measure, because all the measures are five counts now, that is your accent. That is where you are hitting all of these poses or movements. Um, so once, down, and we, those are your three words for this part. So once you have some kind of pose, doesn't matter what it is, um, in the description I've included a couple of links of some really good um, clips of this opening number from the original and um, Broadway tours um, just to give you guys some ideas and some inspiration um, just so you can start thinking about what kind of pose you want to do. Um, so you hit your pose on once torn asunder on down whichever foot is easier to get out of your pose you have cross and open down point six feet under. And then on we, you do a second pose that is different from your first pose. So we get to gather here. There's a little bit of music. You're gonna cross one foot over the other so that you can turn and face upstage. If you are on the ramp, you are going to turn around and face the back wall. If you're in the audience, you're just facing upstage towards the backdrop. The only people who are turning all the way around are Jacob and Nathan because you guys have your first two solo lines. So just remember Jacob and Nathan, um, you guys are just singing your lines out to the audience. And then when you do the line together, you're looking and gesturing towards each other. Everybody else, you're facing all the way upstage and you have on dead, you have your Egyptian pose so that's the one where your right foot is popped, your left foot is parallel, your body stays straight. I don't want you to twist or do anything weird. You're just looking up at your right hand and your left hand is down by your side. So dead for forever. On bled, you're going to switch your feet so that your right leg is parallel and your left leg is popped and you are doing your little circle on the, the right side of your body. So your hands are flexed and facing each other and you're making a nice circle. On called now to reappear, so called is your curtsy. So you have your right foot in front of your left foot and you're just bent with both knees and your arms are down in a straight V with blade hands. Called now to re-appear is when you lift your arms up and then you're going to drop your arms, unwind yourself, and turn on the music after the word reappear. So now we're back to facing front and this is Madison C. and Mitchell's um, solo lines. So Madison and Mitchell, obviously you don't do these movements. You guys are just singing to the audience and to each other. Everybody else, on every, that's when you step forward on your left foot and cross your right arm. So every cadaver. On the word start, that's when you turn your body flat to the right. You have your right foot popped, your left foot is parallel as well. You have your right arm up, your left arm is lower, and you're looking up kind of in between your hands. Um, start the palaver on once you come down and you switch your feet so that okay. <laughs> you switch your feet so now your left foot is popped and your hands are down by your hips your elbows are back and you're looking down at the floor so again that part is Every cadaver start the palaver once in an Adam's year. On the instrumental music after the word year, that's when you take your left foot and pivot to end up back front to the audience. Then you have your final verse or final lines, hold your decaying, hear what we're saying. So on hold, that's when you have another pose. You just have to have some sort of 
extended arm with like a stop kind of gesture and you are looking away from the audience so if you're in the audience you kind of just have to use your judgment just look up and out <laughs> somewhere and then when you look back at the audience on hear what we're saying um just pick somebody in the audience to look at everybody else on the stage you're just looking out and then turning and facing the audience so hold your decaying hear what we're saying and again really remember that you are focusing on being controlled being sharp and being stiff okay um time now to give a cheer um this is when we have the little one two three one two three time now to give a cheer um some of you are just going to disregard those steps and you're just going to groove to your spots because you have a little bit farther to travel um but everybody else just kind of groove with that um if you remember in the dance auditions we did the little tap and swoop with our arms it's kind of that same idea but just a little bit quicker okay um Depending on how this looks, I might end up changing this movement just for you guys to be aware, but for the time being, this is what it will be. And then you're getting into your spots for the line dance. So I'm gonna go through the whole entire thing one more time really, really quick. So I'm just going to do all of the movements. So obviously Jacob, Nathan, Madison C, and Mitchell, you do the parts that you're supposed to, and then don't do the parts when it's your lines. So you come out, you hit a pole pose. Once torn asunder, down six feet under. We get to gather here, face on stage. Dead for forever, fled from whatever called now to reappear. Music, every cadaver, start the palaver. Once in an Adam's year, halt your decaying here what we're saying time now to give a cheer and on the word cheer you're just doing crazy hands i forgot to say that before i apologize so cheer is run 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 get to your spot hands are here it's not this one that one that's a death rattle sorry <laughs> i got those two confused so cheer is right here all right have fun practicing guys <laughs>